tired of me yet I'm a little sick right now But I swear when I'm ready I will fly us out of here Hey everybody! So today I have a little bit of a different video ready Sorry if you hear some background noise Um, you know I'm in I'm in the world but um, today I'm actually going to be trying out some horses because I've been looking for some new additions to the barn and I'm just thought that you know it'd be fun to make a video out of it and we'll just see what happens so currently I am here in Dundle to try out the first horse and I'm just gonna film that so yeah come along with me to try out some horses So the first horse that I'm going to be trying is named Alfredo. He is this gorgeous horse right here. I'll put up a little sheet so that you guys can get to know him. But I'm all the way in Dundle, which was quite a long drive from the Jupiter Equestrian Center, but definitely worth it. Um, they have a lot of amazing horses here, and it was just a very trustworthy place for me. So um, I, it, I was very happy to see that he wasn't already tacked up, as at least to me that's kind of a big red flag because you can't like really get a sense of the horse's ground manners or like how they are when they're being tacked up if they <laughs> are already tacked up when you get there so I was very happy very happy to see that he wasn't um and when I was done tacking him up he really had no problems he was a little girthy but honestly nothing that we couldn't work on um and so he was actually really sweet about it uh and then we walked out to the arena and just did some walk trot warm-up kind of stuff first i didn't want to rush into anything because i didn't know him that well even though he seemed like a really sweet horse i just obviously had never ridden him before and i wanted us both to be comfortable before we started to do anything like jumping or whatever So then, as you can see, we just started doing some basic pulls and stuff. Once again, no jumping. I didn't want to rush into anything. I wanted it to be a really comfortable and safe feeling ride. Um, so we just did some pulls to make sure his he was lifting his feet up and really engaging in what I was asking him to do. Um, and his trot was absolutely beautiful, by the way. It was so pretty. Looking back at this footage, I'm just blown away at how gorgeous it looks. And it was actually really comfortable to ride. Um, a little bit bouncy to sit, but there are a lot of horses like that. It's kind of hard to avoid. Um, and so then we were just doing some basic groundwork bending kind of stuff. So there were these cones that people had nicely set up, and we were just doing some bending around them. He was doing a great job, really listening. Um, he's a little bit sensitive to the bridle, so I would definitely try and do more like voice commands and um, using my legs instead of using the reins, but he was really sweet. He didn't really have a problem with it. I could just tell he was much more sensitive um, on his mouth than to my like leg commands. So we did that and he did a beautiful job. Gorgeous canter, I would say. It's a little bit rocking horsey, but um, honestly, I don't really know how to describe it. It's quite unique, but it was definitely fun to ride. Uh, just gave him a little walk break here and then kind of tried the co uh, excuse me, not the coins, the cones from the other direction. Um, and once again, he did beautifully, a little bit messy on some of the bends, but I think it was just, I think this might have been his harder direction um, to bend. A lot of horses have a harder direction. It's very normal and definitely something that we could work on building muscle with. Um, but yeah, he did a beautiful, beautiful job on these. I could tell he was really focused, had a great um, attitude towards working, and it was it was actually really fun. So after quite a good warm up, we finally moved on to jumping, and I was definitely a little bit nervous. They kind of had this stride pole in the middle, but I didn't really think he needed it because he was quite balanced and he wasn't really rushing. Um, but I was definitely a little bit nervous to jump him because, well, I'm always a little nervous to jump horses that I've never jumped before just because I've definitely had some bad experiences in the past, but I tried to be as confident as possible so that he would be 
confident. Um, and he actually did really good. His jump is a little bit awkward. It's not the most comfortable thing ever, but with um, some training and just some building of his muscle, I think it could definitely be worked on. And once I bumped him up to a more extended canner, he jumped them a little easier. I think it was just hard because I was going at a little bit of a slower pace. Um, there wasn't a ton that was really noticeable about, or not noticeable, gosh, <laughs> um, notable about his jump. He definitely tends to kind of rush the jumps or over jump them a little bit, which I think is why at a more extended canner, the stride poles would be helpful, but um, that's also something we can work on. It's very easy to just, you know, like work on um, getting him more balanced and more collected approaching the jumps so that he doesn't over jump them um, which can be a little bit of a problem, but it's, it's really not bad. He actually had quite a comfortable jump when going faster and he seemed very confident. He wasn't spooking at any of the jumps and we just, we just had a really good time. Um, I kind of cooled him off afterwards. We just went on a little trail. He seems less confident outside of the ring, which is to be expected, pretty normal. Um, also can be trained out, but I he wasn't really spooking at anything. He just didn't seem as... He seemed a lot more alert, is how I would describe it. Um, but overall, we had a really awesome ride, and I was so thankful to be able to try out such an amazing horse, and I will definitely have him on my mind. Okay, so I thought this entire time that I was filming, um, but apparently my camera had just been dead the entire time. Um, either that or the footage got corrupted and I didn't know it, but honestly, I can't really tell what happened. I just know that I don't have footage of getting this sweet boy from the pasture or attacking him up or anything, but this is Baloo. Um, once again, I will put up a little info sheet about him. Um, and I'm here at Moreland Stables in case you can't tell by the area. Um, I've bought a few horses from here. I've bought some great ones and some not so good ones, but I think it definitely has a reputation to be a very trustworthy stable. Um, and I love it here. I grew up taking lessons at this stable, so I love it. I think the bad experiences I've had with it were just to do with the horse and how, um, its behavior was not anything to do with the stable. But anyway, before I go on some long <laughs> rant about that, um... I'll just kind of describe what's going on. Um, so I was just warming him up. I didn't want to rush into anything once again because I'm not the most confident when riding new horses, but I, you know, I try to be, and he seemed like a really sweet boy. Um, I did some walk and trot, and once I got him cantering, I think he was warmed up enough to jump. So I sort of approached some at a very slow canter, and Right off the bat, um, he had a little bit of a more sluggish canner, which I, I don't think is a big problem. He's just a little slower and needs some more leg, but I could tell that just immediately he wasn't enjoying the jumping. It was not something that he was really, I wouldn't say built for because there are a lot of um, draft horses and Clydesdales that are amazing at jumping, but I could tell that it just wasn't really working for him and it wasn't the most comfortable thing for either of us. So after a little bit more jumping and just kind of testing out what limits he had, what boundaries he had, I ended up taking him on just a little trail ride. This was a much shorter ride because I had to get to the next area quite quickly, but he did really amazing. He's a super sweet boy. I could totally envision him being in the lesson program and being an amazing trail horse. Um, he had no behavioral issues and was just a really sweet and generally comfortable horse.
a very relaxing and fun little cool down or trail ride type thing and of course some extra cuddles. I had a great discussion with the owner about pricing and all of that and she just seemed really nice and um, I definitely had a lot to think about. He could be a great addition. So um, my next visit. Um, this took me all the way out to Yarlaheim. Um, I don't, it was definitely not a farm that I'd recognized, but the advertisement for this horse, um, seemed really good. He seemed like a very, um, he's a beautiful, he's a gorgeous Arabian cross. Um, and so I decided why not give it a try, but there were some red flags that I noticed, like, immediately. Um, the barn itself seemed very dirty there it had quite a smell of manure and um the horses weren't kept in the nicest area per se which definitely concerned me a little bit but i figured hey let's give it a try um he was already tacked up when i got there and did have a white ribbon on his tail indicating that he was for sale so that was a little sketchy to me but not you know sometimes that's just how they do it um but the biggest red flag like that I noticed was that they had us riding in what was basically a pasture they didn't have any arenas they didn't say we should like oh go on like these trails somewhere no they had us riding in a pasture but not it would have been fine if it was just an empty grassy pasture I get that some people can't afford to have nice arenas but it was a pasture full of cows and sheep and other um livestock and as you can see, I was riding him around, he was okay, it wasn't comfortable, he had quite an attitude, but um, he ended up spooking and trying to throw me, and I just decided that was enough. I didn't blame the horse, I assumed that he was not being taken very good care of or trained out of bad behavior, but it was just not a good experience, and I knew that I would not be considering buying that horse. So this next horse had me so excited. Um, I am currently at the Silver Glade Riding Arena, which is a gorgeous spot. I ride there all the time, and so it was great to know that this horse would be coming from a trustworthy uh, place. The Silver Glade Equestrian Center is beautiful and has amazing um, horse care and amazing horse breeding. So this next horse is, um, ooh, I don't fully remember his name, but I will put it on the screen so that you guys can see it. Um, I don't think I will be keeping the name that he previously had. It was not my favorite, um, assuming that I do buy him. Um, but, because, okay, <laughs> I'll get to that in a minute. But I tacked him up. He was a little bit fussy about, you know, taking the bit and getting the bridle on, but other than that, it was really okay. Um, he was really chill about the girth and the wraps and everything so he just wasn't fussy about tack which is always a great sign and I started um like riding around just we were going around the jumps because I definitely planned to jump this guy um his advertisement said that he was a beautiful confident and just generally good jumper and so I was very excited to try that um, and so we were just doing basic walk trot canner. I wanted to get him really warmed up because they did say that he is a bit of a youngster and so he can be kind of stiff if not properly warmed up, which is fine. Like I said, um, a lot of horses can be like that, but they also said that he can have some spiciness and some over energetic moments if not warmed up. So I definitely gave him the time to really get moving, uh, to be focused on what I was asking him to do. I did some circles at the walk, trot, and canter, and just trotting him around the ring. Um, it was beautiful. It was comfortable. He had amazing movement and confirmation, and I was just really blown away at how such a young horse could be so well-trained and so well-versed in the world of riding when he was... Anyway, <laughs> I'm just ranting about how much I love this horse. Um, so he was like, I don't quite know how to describe it because he was directly in the middle of being energetic, but also being distracted, which definitely comes along with having younger horses. It's something I've experienced a lot, especially when working with my OTTB Prince, who is one of my youngest horses that I have at my barn. 
Um, but it was honestly nothing that I couldn't work out with a few circles and just making sure he was focused on me. Um, yeah, I'll stop talking now because this is getting kind of long, so I'll just put some music to the rest of our warm-up until we get to the jumping. And enter the most exciting part of the lesson for me. So I got him into this gorgeous extended canter as you can see here. I didn't want to approach the jumps too slowly. I wanted him to have plenty of energy and confidence getting over them. And wow, um, he flew over these jumps. Like he had springs in his legs. I was so amazed. There was definitely a little bit of over jumping, but I think that was just out of excitement and um, how quickly we were going. He definitely gets a little excited when I go into more of an extended canner, but we could totally work on that. And um, I, I just can't get over how beautifully he moved. It was so smooth and so comfortable going over the jumps and he didn't fear a single one. He was totally confident and totally just totally, I don't, I don't know. But um, we did this just small little course a few times. We did that kind of two, three stride, one um, set in the middle a couple of times. He did really well. Um, he was really balanced and just had a very adjustable pace, if you know what I mean. Um, you could really change how many strides you got in between jumps and it was an amazing experience. Um, afterwards, I talked with his owner. I was just generally ecstatic about this horse. I totally had him just in the front of my mind. He was definitely, I think, the best one that I had ridden um, of the day. And I had a lot to think about, but I was pretty sure he was going to be one to come home with me. So with any horse purchasing, um, I, I have a lot to think about. All of the horses I tried today, with the exception of maybe, well, never mind, that doesn't matter. Um, they were so amazing. I was just blown away and so happy, but also um, a little overwhelmed. I really had a lot to think about, but um, I'm just saying this while on a trail ride with Ennard, so say hi. <laughs> um, but... I was so excited at the prospect of all of these horses. Um, I think that, um, I don't know, I'm a little unsure, but I'm just going to take a couple of weeks to think about it and I'll come back to this and share my decisions and all of that. So um, thanks for coming on that journey with me. I will continue when I've made my decision. So after a couple of weeks of hard thinking, I made some decisions and enter Casino, aka Snake Eyes, um, the last horse that I ended up trying. Um, I was so excited to bring this sweet boy home. Um, I knew immediately, pretty much the from the moment I started jumping him, that this, if not the only one, was one of the horses that I wanted to bring home with me. And he proved himself to me as soon as he got here. He settled in really easily with the new horses and was, um, sorry, not new horses, with the new environment and was making friends with a lot of the other horses. I spent a lot of time just working with him one-on-one. -on -one. We were jumping together and he still had that just amazing, comfortable jump that I rave about. Um, and it was just... I love working with him. I'm so happy he's here. He's become a fast favorite amongst everybody at the barn, and it's just great. Um, so I ended up taking him to his first ever show a few months ago. It was a dressage test. Um, nothing super complicated, just a local one. Um, and he did amazingly. I think jumping is definitely his strong suit, but I was still so impressed with his capabilities and trust in me after only being together for a short time um and I'll just 
these were kind of the little clips that I took. I didn't film much because I didn't want to like weird out the judges, but he did really well, especially considering how young and how green he is. Um, I don't think he's ever done anything like that before, really, but I, I'm so proud of him. He did really amazing and yeah, so I'll just do the rest of this montage with some music. <laughs> the showing did not stop there. After a couple more months of training and really getting him used to me, I took him to a low-level jumping show, and he did even more amazing than he did in the dressage test. I'd say this is definitely his strong suit. Um, we didn't place first. We weren't... We were in the top five. We were fifth place, so that's good enough for me. I'll take it. There weren't many people, but it's still a win in my book. Um, he did amazingly, he was so confident, and I couldn't be more proud of this amazing horse. So as I'm sure you saw in those last few um, clips and pictures that I showed, I started getting him into lessons, um, and he did so well. He is able to work with advanced and beginner students. Um, he's really just an all-around great lesson horse. Um, he can be a little bit excited for some of our less experienced students, um, and sometimes a little lazy for our more advanced ones, but he just does an amazing job. Um, you can see here, this is one of my younger and less experienced lesson students, um, and this was kind of her first, um, or she's just beginning to jump, definitely not her first jump, but it's, um, she's really just trying to get the hang of it, get her confidence, and he did amazing with her. So here are those clips. She was so happy and enjoy. <laughs> And that brings us to the second horse I bought. Of course, it had to be Alfredo. <laughs> um, I didn't register with him with a show name because I, I don't know, I figured Alfredo is just, I don't know, it fits him. It's good enough for me. Um, this amazing horse is just, oh, just beautiful. <laughs> I love him. Um, he is he quickly settled in to his new home here. Um, I think he was a little more uneasy than uh, Casino was, um, but he settled in really nicely. I started riding him pretty quickly once he arrived, unlike Casino, who I gave a little more time, um, but he was just doing a really nice job. I did a lot of flat work with him before we started into jumping here, and he still has that wonky jump, I'm not gonna lie, it isn't the most comfortable thing, but he just, he really enjoys it. I can tell that he has fun, and um, I have fun, and I think that he would make a really great jumper for um, people who are, like, kind of intermediate students of mine, um, when they might not be the most confident jumpers, but they do know how and they do frequent the the course um so this was one of my lesson students her name is christina i'm sure you've heard of her before she's been in a few of my videos but um she started riding him she was kind of the first person to ride him other than myself um once he arrived here and 
She really enjoyed jumping him. I think it was super fun for the both of them, and they both did an amazing job. Um, and now I'm going to stop talking before this gets long, like all of the others. And um, yeah, enjoy. So the first show that Alfredo ended up going to was actually not with me, it was with one of my lesson students, and um, she's not the most experienced, but is definitely a great writer, and she's been writing here for a little while. Um, so they went to kind of like a equitation kind of show, um, I'm not really sure what else to call it, it was mainly flat work with a little, a few small jumps, um, and I did amazing, he was super confident and just generally um, doing a really great job, especially with the new rider, um, and you could tell that they were definitely bonding quite a bit, um, and I'm very proud of how they both did. Um, they didn't place the highest, but that's okay, because it was one of his first shows, and it was one of her first shows, and I think that they both just did an amazing job, and I'm so proud of them. And, okay, originally I had not planned to come home with three of the four horses that I tried, but I honestly just couldn't pass up this sweet guy. Um, this is Baloo, aka The Bear Necessities. I love that show name. I love the Jungle Book reference. Um, so as I explained when trying him out, um, he is definitely not a jumping horse. I could tell that even though he could do it, it definitely wasn't something that thrilled him, and I knew that he could have a lot of potential in another, in, um, in another discipline, uh, so I figured that why not train him to be a trail horse? Um, he was very confident outside of the ring, um, and I was really impressed with his skills, and I was like, you know, why not? I need more um, mountain and trail horses at my barn. Well, I, okay, I don't need more horses at my barn, but if I were to get more, I would need some that weren't <laughs> jumpers. Um, so I pretty much started him off. I rode him a little bit for sure. Obviously, I didn't want to just like set him free with my lesson students, but once I knew that he was safe and happy and comfortable, um, I had a lot of my lesson students just try them out on trails and as you can see um that went really well this uh one of my students here i will not put her name in because i just privacy reasons um and one of my students named mia here is the one in the uh, blue shirt um they both took him out quite frequently on trails uh, mia went to dundle and my other student um just rode around golden hills um and they were amazing. Uh, I love him. <laughs> 
all right so um that wraps up this video here's this gorgeous angle of montero really just model angles i know um <laughs> but i am honestly so happy to welcome these new horses at my barn they are all just amazing and gorgeous and wonderful horses um and thank you guys so much for watching um and for all your support don't forget to stay hydrated stay safe and take care of yourself bye bye